two they were at Cheetah Kapsla and these two was they were calling, challenging Mapoho and Mapoho would keep silent they didn't call back and that is a sign of these two males here they are more equivalent with Mapoho when it comes to the power they have standing by, let me answer the radio standing by Yebo Maniar So we we'll never know what's going to happen. It looked like the two Bijima males. We haven't seen them up to so far here. We have seen the tracks of this one of the male here on Bulu Road crossing into Buffalo. And now that you see the males, which means slowly, slowly, they also don't settle around Western Gari. Western Gari is one of the area where it does have a lot of uh, game. For instance, like Buffalo, we see quite a lot of a dagger boys around in the area. Being three females and two males like this, it will be very easy to bring down a, a full buffalo, a bro, around in the area. So it can be a joy one of the days seeing them happen in front of the camera. And we, all are, we all love it. Like today we're having a night drive. We don't know what's going to happen with these males. Maybe they'll cross over into Bethesuit or they'll stay around in Western Gary. We are able to follow them. Check that now there. Because of the game driver, can the tails go inside or side? He's not relaxed. He doesn't really happy with the, the presence of the game drive vehicle. That is one of the signs of course if you go out in a drive or you're driving it yourself. If you want to know whether the lines is happy or not, the tail will go side by side if the line is not happy. It's one of the signs to show that the male is really not happy with the presence of the vehicle. So from there you have to know that you can really go back or stand still from the same point until you see the reaction. Sometimes it will pitch very fast like that, then you can reverse back and give a distance because it might be very comfortable with a certain distance of the vehicle and you will be free with that but my, I mean, from my, my position, the lines have walked very close to me and move as Ephraim is doing, you can see he's moving back himself because the line, you can see, he's not happy and he's trying to be in a, in a very, very safety distance for that male lions because he's not really happy he's moving the tail side by side Hi Trevor, welcome on the uh, afternoon drive, welcome your question. Trevor, you wanted to know this, uh, this pride here considered as a small pride. What is an average of a pride around in the area? Trevor, this is not a small pride. What happened to the pride here with Kiruma look like uh, they're all getting separated themselves. You never know what but the cause of that. But this means the three females that are here, it might be the entire Uhuma pride are uh, accepting these males to be more dominant. And you might find that they are in a different sort of uh, time. Maybe one of the females she's an estrus, the two females here they're heavy pregnant. They try to find the area where they might give birth. They get separated. That is the nature of the line. So look at that line, the female, and what she's doing on that female there, on the male itself, I mean. She's tra attracting the male to mate. See that? Laying down 
and allowing the male to, to concentrate. The male look like he's not interested. But might be one of the reasons the other female withdrawn or not really withdrawn, separate from the female just because of he wants to mate with the male. So it, it's a big pride. I mean, it depends when it comes to the size of the pride. We, we know big tribe, pride of lions around in the air, it might be nine, seven, five females and two males. That is really a, a very good number of a pride of a lions. If they get to 10, 15, 20, it's not really accepted. Can you buy? Okay. Yeah, affirmative is one vehicle from Juma and one vehicle from Wadef. As soon as you get here, I will be pulling out. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, Trevor, it depends. It depends. A big part of Alliance uh, was watching one of uh, Brad from the East called Mega Pride or Mega Pride. That of Libombo quite few individuals on that pride. That is not a healthy pride. It really go for anything else. They, they kill in a daily basis. So sometimes it creates a lot of competition. All the females, males, are always fighting once they kill. They have a lot of scars on their face and so on. But in the nature of the pride of the lions, how it does, once it gets up to 10, 15, they get separated. So even these two, three females here, where they're se separated permanently, so they're going to join with the rest of the pride because I know from Kuruma pride they're all ten, which means three of them here, yeah, seven left on the actually pride. So you never know it's just because of mating and got back. If these two men are all accepted because they have three young males there, I don't think uh, the female by the time will accept the male. If they have to accept the male, the young males they have to pull out from the pride or get separated or withdrawn from the pride and go alone and form cohesion with the other males so then the whole pride will start to move together because they don't have a pressure from the young males because they might get killed with these two males so then there will be all seven females walking all together and there will be cubs everywhere by then because they will all be interested to mate I hope it answer your question Trevor it does this is a, a perfect number of the lioness and also a mouse, three female, two mouse. It's, it's it's such a a very good pride because the two males here or the two females, once they have youngster, the mat being three of them having nine youngster all together or more than that, and it will be a big pride. So it's from from three females, exactly from there. So it's really healthy sort of a pride if there are three in a two miles. Is it the gun drive vehicle coming from? Fine, so what we're going to do we we have to move and give a space for the gun drive vehicle and we'll be coming back here. Should the other vehicle move within my way 